All right, so let's go through some key factors to consider before implementing AI marketing tools for our AI marketing campaign. So let's go through them. There are five and let's go with the first, which is you got to establish goals, right? As anything in life, you've got to establish goals. And that is the same for your marketing campaigns and also for your AI marketing tools and campaigns. So you want to establish a goal. What is my goal? I want to increase my ROI by 10% for each, uh, you know, marketing activity, or I want to improve the brand awareness by, you know, 15% on, uh, you know, on, on, a, on a Gen Z population demographic. So you got to establish a goal. And uh, that is really ultimately what will the, like what will make the difference between success and failure. You cannot go in, you cannot go and create a campaign without without having a clue, you know, without having a clue at what you want to achieve. So really, like, if we're talking about dynamic pricing, we will have to say, okay, we want to increase our revenue of 30% uh, because uh, we feel like uh, we can have a different set of prices for a different set of users based on, you, you know, purchase uh, history, user activity, and so on and so forth. So you want to have a certain goal Perhaps you might not achieve it, but at least have it so that it can be your North Star that you're going to look at, so that you're constantly aiming towards. So that's the thing I'm talking about, established goals. And so key factor number two is data privacy. So data privacy standards. Again, data privacy is really important. We have talked about privacy protocols before. And uh, again, I don't feel overly qualified to explain this topic i feel there's ton more um ton more resources out there about data privacy standards regarding to ai marketing but of course if you want to uh, create an ai marketing campaign you gotta make sure that data privacy standards are in place okay now key factor number three is about data quantity and sources okay so you want to make sure that you've got good data we talk about having quality data but you also have got to go you've got to get a lot of data you have you cannot have like just a tiny bit of data you got to have a huge amount of data that's why it's called big data you have you really need a lot of data because that's going to make it much more relevant and produce more consistent results of what you're looking at okay and uh, again also the sources of those data have to be att uh, like attainable, relevant, and uh, trustable, so that you can have uh, a really good AI marketing campaign. So that's the number third, number three. Let's go to number four, and you want to make sure that you get really good data science down. So you need to acquire data science data. If you do not have it in your team right now, you've got to get somebody to be an expert in the data data say data science team uh, field. So. By the way, data science for those was or might be just what, like looking around, they might still be thinking about what to do after college or like before going into college. Like data science is really something going strong. And you can use like data science with marketing. You can combine the two. So if you are really good at marketing and you're thinking about developing a, another skill that can complement like like really data science could be that one because if you can be amazing at marketing and amazing at data science you could become so valuable to to, to companies you could have such a, an important role in a company and, and become a, a you know very very important a key player in that company and uh, again but also if you want to create your edge agency or be, be a freelancer acquiring data science skills and talent nowadays is a must because we're all moving towards this data world, whereas whereas that where that data is is really valuable. They say it's even more valuable than the you know than it's it's more valuable than oil, right? So then that it's always been the case in the last few years, and so we're seeing this shift towards data-driven enterprises, data-driven campaigns, data-driven marketing. So we want to have some data science talent in our team or become a data science skilled person ourselves. So next, which is the fifth, we've already talked about this, but let's go again into detail and it's maintaining data quality. So we've talked about data quantity and sources of data. We have to now speak about talk about maintaining that quality and what is data quality basically let's have a look at the data quality factors and the data quality factors are timeliness 
completeness, consistency, relevance, transparency, accuracy, and representativeness. So these ones are what we mean with having data quality factors. So you really want it to be timely, completed, like consistent, relevant, transparent, accurate, and representative. Okay, so talent, and that's something that you have to bear in mind because if we do not have enough data and also if we do not have enough quality data, we are definitely going to struggle building our AI marketing campaign. So having said that, let's now go to the huge benefits of applying AI marketing campaigns towards our marketing efforts towards our marketing team.